New this morning, the Sacramento Orchid Society is getting ready to celebrate 75 years, and we're joined now by Dave Veach, the president of that society. What did you bring in for us today? Well, I brought in an, a, an example of some of the different kinds of orchids you'll see at the show. Okay, and you said so, there are a lot of varieties. There are a lot of varieties, approximately 30,000 species of orchids. <laughs> okay, and all right. So probably, these are just a few of them. These are just a couple. <laughs> okay, so, what do we have? Well, we, we'll start with this little guy. Yeah. And I brought this one in because you can see the flowers are quite small. Yeah. Um, and so you probably have something like a gnat or something like that. That's the pollinator for this. Very cool. And yeah, this looks, species. You can just hang that up. It looks like a little ornament. Yeah, and I, and I do that. You see it's in a little tiny pot there. Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. You know? And uh, this species um, comes from Central America and uh, around the Caribbean. Very cool. We have this one, which is a Maxillaria um, tenufolia. Oh, it's pretty. And it's yeah. called the coconut orchid okay. for... Oh, there you go. It smells like coconut. It smells like coconut. Imagine that. All right. Um, we also have, this is Orangus fastuosa. Easy for you to say. Indeed. And this is growing on a piece of cork bark. So this is kind of how it would be out in nature. All right. And this one actually is a pure white orchid, and it is... Uh, you see it has these little spurs down here? Yeah. So this is pollinated by a moth, and, and so it's fragrant at night. So it attracts the moths. The moths stick their tongue down into this thing to get the yep. nectar. And when they do that, they get the pollen on their tongue, and it pollinates Interesting. the flower. Interesting. Didn't realize flowers could be nocturnal as well, to a degree. Yes. All right. And then what do we have here? And we have this is Oncidium sherry baby. Okay. And this okay. one is called the chocolate orchid. Guess what? Smells like chocolate. And yeah. so this is just a small example of the kinds of orchids you'll see at the show. Yeah, um, 75th anniversary as well, right? 75th anniversary. You haven't been around for all of them. I have not been around <laughs> for all of them. How have you, though, seen it evolve over the years? And just, it, especially with the different types and how exotic some of these flowers can be. You know, I've seen it evolve. Um, new hybrids are being made all the time. Yeah. And so, for instance, this is a hybrid of a couple of different types of Oncidium. Gotcha. Um, and this one was created just for the fragrance, right? Yeah. And so um, various orchids, uh, you know, people are always trying new things. And so you get these really wild combinations with colors and fragrances and those kinds of things. And that's really where you see the, uh, the power of the orchid community. Yeah, and the expertise. And you get to go down there, rub elbows, and rub some green thumbs together as well with all the that's, folks who are in attendance. That's it. Give us uh, some of the details for uh, this, this um, uh, show that you have going on. Well, the show is at the Carmichael's, Carmichael Elks Lodge. Okay. And so this is our first year there. Um, and it is, starts this evening, um, or actually Friday evening, we have a preview event. Oh, very nice, okay. And so we'll have wine and food, and people can uh, browse through the orchids and meet our vendors and those kinds of things. And then the show itself is open on Saturday from 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. There you go, Dave. All right, thank you so much. Good Hi. luck with your show this week. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate your time.